before. Remember Josh and Michelle? Well, they matched on Tinder and they flirted for three years, but they didn't meet face to face until they came to GMA. And well, our cameras were there when they went on their first date. And TJ Holmes, you have what happened next, yes. man. All right. Anticipation, location, conversation. Those are the three things you got to worry about on a first date. So for them, anticipation, a three year buildup. Location, Maui for a weekend. No pressure there. And cameras were rolling on their entire conversation. This could potentially be the best or the worst first date ever. It's a match made in Tinder. Josh and Michelle never met in person until this very moment. Keeping up an epic joke on the dating app for three years, waiting months to respond to each other, writing things like, hey, sorry, my phone died, and hey, sorry, was in the shower. The pair finally met face to face right here on GMA. Your sister met her fiance on Tinder. Yeah, she kind of gave me some hope that this is this is where it's at, you know? They're getting married in November. <laughs> no pressure. No, 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 no totally fine. <laughs> Slow down. Let's just start with the first date. I have officially uh, checked in my bags, and so now I just have to meet up with Michelle, and we are going to be on our ways to Maui. And GMA got to tag along. First, a visit to the Lucky Mermaid Fountain to cast a wish. Ready. Then an afternoon scenic bike ride, ending the date with some drinks poolside. On this trip, I have learned just about Josh's incredible energy. He is just always excited and always energetic. You should hear her talk about her dreams and her passions and her career path. Determination, perseverance, it's, it's really rare and awesome to be a part of. But the big question, will there be a second date? We're heading back to Kent soon, and I know we don't have any concrete plans yet, but I'm sure I pass across once we get back there. With everything going on, it's been kind of hard to talk about the little things, like when we do go back, but I'm pretty sure she's so much fun. I know if we, once we get back home, we're gonna wanna meet up again. I never in a million years could have expected that when this story first started, when he first tweeted out our conversation, something so simple could just turn into something so amazing. The best case scenario, I, I get to talk to a, a pretty girl. N never did I imagine my first date would be on a resort like this. It's like something from a postcard. Oh, sorry. George, George always gets on to me for burying the lead. And, and you did. A lot of people picked up on it. She said, we'll get back, and I'm sure our paths will cross. That didn't sound it like... It wasn't a yes. It was not a yes, but still, they got some things to work. We're putting them on a first date <laughs> on camera. That's a lot of pressure to now make something happen. He should sing Lou Rawls to her. That might work. <laughs> well, nothing else is working yet, but I need to let you all know they had separate rooms, we're told, there in Maui. This ain't The Bachelorette, no fantasy suite night here. So <laughs> we're told they had separate rooms. We'll see what happens when they get back. But she might be transferring from Kansas. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. No, no, I'm kidding. Okay. DJ! <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.